Muhammad Hijab, I have to thank you. You've made my friends very wealthy and they're spreading the money. David Wood sent me a $500 super chat today thanks to you. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. You already know that our favorite Islamic apologist Muhammad Hijab has been on a warpath recently asking his Twitter soldiers to create maximum damage to the cause of Apus, aka Posse Prophet. This included, of course, posting vulgar questions directed at the wives of AP, Abdullah Gondal, David Wood, and of course my wife. Ew, right? Not just posting vulgar questions, but he also interviewed a former friend of mine, Fayaz, who slandered my wife and I by saying stupid things like, if it wasn't for her, I would be rich. And Hijab even posted a message offering my wife to email him and get a new Muslim husband. At this point, he's crossed all the red lines, trying to break up a family? Of course it didn't work, but what kind of da'i, aka caller to Islam, goes and interferes with someone's marriage like that? Well, it's not surprising, because according to him, my marriage is invalid since I left Islam. Because marriage is a contract, an agreement between husband and wife to be loyal and support and love one another. None of that goes away when one of you leaves a religion. But of course, these Muslim white knights want to save Sheryl and take her away from the big bad apostate. It's too bad because she likes this naughty apostate. We built a relationship over many years and your nasty attacks and interference aren't going to do jack. Try harder. You're looking more and more desperate. Thankfully, there are people in the world that are able to overcome the shackles of dogma and stay together despite what dumb religious teachings say. We did it. Then he tried to cyber bully Apostle Prophet and David Wood by getting the Patreon pages taken down. You'll recall that Muhammad Hijab, the tactical genius who keeps accidentally supporting our work, has been trying to get us banned from Patreon. These guys are Islamophobes and obviously they desecrated the Quran last week. Well, the call to action here is very straightforward. We're going to go to Patreon, okay? We're going to go to Patreon, we're going to make an account, and then when we make an account, we're going to mass report, yeah, uh, both of their channels. But like everything Hijab does, it backfired. He ended up getting me and the apostate prophet way, way more patrons. It would have taken me another two years to get the number of new supporters I got in the past two days. So thank you, Muhammad Hijab. The check for your cut is in the mail. But nevertheless, after doing this, not only was his video taken down for violating the YouTube Terms of Service... Unfortunately, Hijab's video calling on his fans to mob flag our pages on Patreon has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. Harassment and bullying. That does sound like Hijab, and like his ideology in general. They actually got a lot more financial support. Over 100 new patrons each. As a result of this, David Wood surprised me yesterday with a special gift. He sent me a $500 super chat. 500 freaking dollars. With the message, this money is for buying a gift for Mrs. Samir, courtesy of Muhammad Hijab, who sent me a ton of new financial supporters. We're going to buy something nice for the house. Cheryl gives her thanks as well. See the difference between good character and bad character? Between Christian apologists and Muslim ones? Kindness always wins over harshness. I appreciate David Wood, I truly do. He hasn't had an easy life. I interviewed him on my channel and the trials he faced are really next level. Personal issues he's gone through like drug and addiction problems in the family, making peace with the fact that he attacked his father, health issues that his kids have, yet he keeps a smile and goes out of his way to help Muslims and to help ex-Muslims like Apostate Prophet and myself. His videos helped me gain a better understanding when I was in a doubting phase, especially in regard to Muhammad's bad behavior and how the Christian concept of Jesus is more internally consistent than the Islamic one. He's never asked for anything in return from me for doing this. I genuinely think Dave is a good person. Thanks for being you. Keep on rocking. Now, obviously, we don't agree on everything. Even though David is a theist and I'm an atheist, we agree on one thing, in that every human has a right to choose their own religion. We are both pro-secularism, pro-democracy, pro-freedom of religion. We unite on the fact that we both believe Islam is bad for this world, and we choose to spend our time speaking about it. We can all work together on things that we agree upon for a better world. 
If they are Muslims who are pro-secular, I will gladly work with them too. What we want is a world where we look at arguments and values, not at religion, color, or identity. Everyone should be free to follow a religion or not follow it, to believe or disbelieve. Congratulations on reaching half a million subscribers. And thanks for the gift. At this rate, I'm going to be able to do this full time soon. That's really exciting. To the Abdullah Samir team, you're the best. I really appreciate you. If you want to join the team, click join now or sign up on Patreon to support normalizing dissent. The process of deconstructing Islamic doctrine is not going to end anytime soon. And the fight is uphill. I appreciate you. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim Abdullah Samir signing out.